What's going on, Star Wars fans? You're watching The Collect Us Up. My name is Chris. We're going to be taking a look at the new Range Trooper from Solo, A Star Wars Story. This is the Black Series number 64. Very unique looking trooper. A lot going on, and I'm really digging it. So with all of that being said, let's get right to this review. We'll start off with the box. So you have a great image of the Range Trooper on the bottom right. Looking really cool. Number 64. And like always, a nice description on the back. Same image, just enlarged. And like always, that Hasbro and Disney logo on the bottom right. So it's that standard Black Series box. Great image. Let's get right to the figure. So here he is, the Range Trooper. I mean, how cool is this guy? Right when I saw images of this figure, I just had to have it. I love that there's so much going on. The armor looks amazing. Detail, paint application. Everything about it really does rock. Very appealing. I love that there's fur on the collar. And check out these boots. They're massive. And definitely look like there's some sort of boosters on the back. So hopefully we get to see this in action. Because that would be really nice. I love this helmet. Reminds me of the Scarif Stormtrooper. And the lens being gold like that is pretty cool. Nice weathering on the helmet and the chest plate here. All right, let's get right into the articulation. So the head is on a ball joint, left and right, up and down, little side to side. Very nice movement. The arms go up and down to a 90 degree angle. Elbows do bend and swivel. All that good stuff. There are wrist joints, but there's a restriction because of the sleeve. But the hands do swivel. The waist joint goes side to side. And a little front and back. Kind of hits his belt a little bit. Now the coat is made out of a soft vinyl material and these straps are molded separately which is really nice. The leg doesn't go fully up just because of the restriction with the belt. So believe it or not that's all you're going to be getting out of that. There is a joint on the upper portion of the leg to allow it to swivel though. And there are knee joints. and ankle joints only to allow the foot to go up and down no side to side action just because of how massive these boots are but the few restrictions definitely does not take away from this figure at all um, I really do love it a lot as you can see this really cool blaster fits really nice finger on the trigger which is always awesome so yeah this dude is cool I mean he's geared up to handle like the worst environment ever And like I said, these boots must be so heavy. So these guys got to be tough. Cannot wait for this movie. Man, I'm getting so psyched. And there is crazy detail with this figure. It 
it would have been cool if this was fur as well. As you can see, it just molded onto the soft vinyl. It's really nice. First time we ever saw that. Yeah, this guy is totally a must-have. And if you're having a hard time finding them in store, they're all over eBay right now for like $25 free shipping. So that's borderline retail. So he is not hard to find, which is a great thing. And I can't wait to pick them up in the 3.75 scale. And you bet I will be doing a review on that. Along with all the other solo figures. So yeah guys, just uh, overall really stunning. I really like how beefy he is. Uh, ready to throw down. And cannot wait to see him in action. And like I said, absolutely loving this helmet. So definitely a must have for your solo collection. No doubt. All right, guys. One last close up. It's awesome. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Please let me know what you think about this Range Trooper. I think he came out phenomenal, and like I said, I cannot wait to see him in action. If you want to see more of me, go to thecollectorshut.com. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, right here on YouTube. Please subscribe, comment, and share. I love hearing from you guys. The support is amazing. And keep tuning in because I have so much more to share with you guys. Like always, may the force be with you, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a bunch.